again to my channel. So today we will be talking about the discriminant of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. The discriminant plays a vital role in identifying the possible nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. So let's get started! <laughs> identify the nature of the roots of our quadratic equation. Okay? So with this, there are four possible cases. Okay, so let's start with case number one. Case number one is that when b squared minus 4ac would be equal to 0. So if it happens, then the nature of the roots of our quadratic equation would be they are real and equal. So that's the nature. Okay, case number 2 is that when b squared minus 4ac would be equal to any positive number. So if it's a if it's any positive number, it means to say it should be greater than zero and a perfect square. So since it's greater than zero and a perfect square, it could be like for example positive four or positive nine or positive twenty five. So these numbers are all are all positive and they are perfect squares. So if that is the case, then the nature of the roots of our quadratic equation would be they are rational but not equal. Okay, that's case number two. Case number three is when b squared minus 4ac would be equal to any positive number still. So we need to say greater than 0, but not a perfect square. So example, it could be equal to 3, equal to 12, equal to 30. So these numbers are all positive numbers, but not perfect squares. So if that is the case, then the nature of the roots of our quadratic equation would be they are irrational and not equal. Okay, so that's, third, that's the third case. And the last case, which is case number four, is that when b squared minus 4ac would be equal to any negative number. So we need to say it is less than zero. So it's a negative number. Negative number. So example, it could be equal to negative one or negative three, negative 100. So these numbers are less than zero. So if it happens, then the nature of the roots of our quadratic equation, then we can say that there are no real roots or no solutions at all. So the key here is that you familiarize yourself with the cases and the possible nature of roots of your quadratic equation. So let's test. Okay, say for example, we have the equation x squared plus 4x plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so let's try to identify the nature of the roots of this equation using the formula of the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so first, you need to identify the value of your a, your b, and your c. So your a here is 1. 
your B is positive 4 there, and your C is 2. So it's very simple. You just copy the formula. You have B squared minus 4AC equals, so let's just substitute. So our B is 4. So you have 4 squared minus 4, we copy. And then the value of our A is 1 times the value of our C, which is 2. So in this case, 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 uh, negative times positive, negative times positive, that is a negative answer. And then the negative answer times positive, we will get a negative answer. So we have minus. So 4 times 1, that is 4. 4 times 2, that is 8. So you have 16 minus 8. So 16 minus 8, that is 8. So which case is this? This falls under case number 3. Why? Because 8 is a positive number. So it's greater than 0, but 8 is not a perfect square. So it falls to case number 3. So with that, we can now tell that the nature of the roots of this quadratic equation, x squared plus 4x plus 2 equals 0, would be the roots are irrational, and not equal. Let's try another. Let's have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. So first step, we identify the values of our a, our b, and our c. So the value of a here is 1. The value of your b is negative 4. The value of c is positive 4. So next step, you substitute this to the formula of the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. So substitute, the value of your b is negative 4. So negative 4 squared minus the value of a copy 4, and then the value of your a is 1. The value of your c is positive 4. So you have negative 4 squared, that is 16. Then you have negative times positive, that's a negative answer. And the negative answer times another positive, then still you will get a negative answer. So minus. So 4 times 1, that is 4 times 4, you will get 16. So 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. Now since the b squared minus 4ac results to 0, then the nature of the roots of our equation is what case? It's case number 1. Therefore, we say that the roots are real and equal. So that's it. Okay, so it's very easy again. All you have to do is just familiarize yourself with the cases and the nature of the roots. The cases and the corresponding nature of the roots and then you're done. You can now identify the possible nature of the roots of your quadratic equation simply by using the formula b squared minus 4ac which is also known as the discriminant. So I hope uh, you learned something in this video and again um, if you enjoy the video if you learned something from my video I hope you give it a like and then do not forget to subscribe and share my videos to your friends. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time in my next videos.